Hello, my name is Craig Allingham and I'm the author of Prostate Recovery Map, Men's Action Plan for Guys Who Have Undergone or About to Undergo Prostate Surgery. This video is one of a series that accompanies the book. If you've arrived here not from the book, that's not a concern because I'll be telling you how you can purchase the book before we're finished. The message to empty your bladder and to do it quickly is what we call urge incontinence. And you can use this level one exercise of slow ramping and sustained hold to control this urge. For example, if you wake up at night and you'd like to delay or put off the urge to go and empty your bladder, or if you're at a place where it's not convenient and you want to delay or put off emptying your bladder, Ever so slowly doing a, a slow dimmer switch wind up of the slow ramping up to no more than 30%, focusing on that and then sustaining the hold as you breathe gently, just the same exercise as you've done before, will mess with the brain signal about bladder emptying. So if you can do it three or four repetitions of that focused on it in a quiet moment, then you may be able to turn off the message for urge control. If your bladder is really full, you won't be able to turn it off because you need to empty. But if it's a false signal, false full signal, that it's not full but you really could go if you had the opportunity, you may be able to override this mental urge by controlling the pelvic floor tension on squeezing the urethra. It's certainly worth a try because being able to delay emptying your bladder may some days be critical. 